Welcome back to Pike Fishing, guys. Today we got a special episode around in Connecticut on the East Panic River. It is uh, beginning of March, and uh, you know it's known for holding big, big schools of holdover bass that just kind of hang out in the rivers for most of the winter, and then when uh, spring comes around, they come out of the rivers and they join up in the ocean and the sound. But for now, they're just kind of here in like very large pockets. So I'm using an umbrella rig, which locals have been saying have been working around here. Going real slow with it across all these fish and hoping to catch one. So come along for the ride. Hopefully we catch some striped bass on the river. We got a fish on and they are pulling drag. Oh yeah, guys. Fish on in Connecticut. Yeah, baby. Uh, feels like a schooler. <laughs> we came out with the umbrella rig. We listened to the locals. That's what they said works. That's what works. Come here, buddy. Where are you? March. Second, third, striper, baby. Kind of a big net, <laughs> but I just want to make sure not to lose them. <clears throat> All right. Of course, he went for the zoom fluke. That's what everyone's saying is their favorite. He went for the pink one. They're all white. He went for the only one that's pink. Look at this guy. Look at this pretty guy, guys. This is what we got. River striper. Hopefully we'll catch a couple more like this <laughs> here early this year. Catching them early this year. All I did was troll the umbrella. So now that I found a school that might be a little active, I'm gonna cast at them a bit and see if they'll take it. But awesome. All right, let's get this guy back. All right, you wanna let go of me whenever you're ready. Take care, buddy. And as simple as that, guys. All right, let's see if I can troll up another. Number two boys, fish number two, I found an active school, probably going to be a similar size, all these guys, but I'm fighting stripers guys, I'm fighting stripers, come up buddy, you're fighting pretty good though, you're a fighter, maybe I foul hooked you, what, what's the deal? Oh, you're just foul hooked and a little bit bigger. <laughs> you're double hooked. Whoa. Again, guys, look at this. Went for the pink. Oh my gosh, this is a strategy I think I'm gonna implement. Again, he went for the pink. Out of all the ones he could have chose, this is the second time they went for the pink one. For the zoom fluke. I wonder why. That is cool. Beautiful fish. Get back there. Whoop. What we're doing is we found this school that's kind of active uh, when I troll by them. And I'm just slowly trolling at like one and a half miles an hour, going over them, back and forth. Because not all the schools will even go for the troll. So when you find one that does, you want to hang out a bit, have some fun with them. But I'll probably catch maybe one more of a similar size. And then I'll head on to another school, see if I can find bigger ones. Fellas, <laughs> we are on. All right, uh, what do we got? Let's tighten up a bit. Another little schooler. This will be striper number three of the day. Ok, 
guy this time it's a white one <laughs> it's not gonna be the pink every single time I guess okay babe all right buddy you are hooked well Look at that sunshine striper. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I'm gonna get your big boys soon. They'll be migrating. But what a great way to start out the season. Fix up this guy a little bit. I think this is bent out of shape a little. Uh, this way. This way. Let's do it. All right, so we're at, we're trolling again. We're about to come over another uh, very small school. Probably not gonna hit it. But uh, that was pretty awesome coming out here, seeing uh, that they're taking the, the troll. And it was really cool to see them take the, the pink one, the pink presentation, both times. We're gonna troll right now to another location further up the river. And maybe we'll catch something on the way there. But I'm definitely having a lot more luck than the last time I was here, that's for sure. Tighten that drag over a bit. Alright, buddy. Fish number four of the day. Beautiful guy. I'm getting back in there. Look at that tongue and those teeth. Awesome stuff. Really cool. Just coming out here and catching up these guys. Look at him. He doesn't even know that he's free. Take care. Right, so we're gonna give this spot a re-troll and troll down to that tree and then start heading back to this other spot that I was initially heading to when we got that striper. Fish on fellas. Fish on. Oh what a foul hook. Look at that, I got him in the back. What a small guy. What a small little baby. I'm sorry, guy. Hey, hey, I'll get it right out. Take care. All right, we got a little size. Got a little size on this guy. Oh, that's why he's pulling. He's got size on his side. Look at this guy. He's like 24, 25 maybe. Look at that. Buddy. Huh, again, went for the pink. Check it out, this is the best of the day so far. A little bit bigger. There we go, beautiful guy. Oh, and you can see there's big marks under us. So, 
Maybe we'll be able to get some a little bit bigger soon. All right, let's let this majestic beast go. See if we get even a little bigger. But so far, you're the biggest, bud. You know, fellas, now would be a great time to like and comment on the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the content we got over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Another fat 20 something incher. They're getting bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger as the season goes. And by subscribing, you'll be making sure to stay up to tune with all the latest and greatest videos. Because guess what? The season is starting. It is starting real soon. I even think by me in, uh, you know, Little Neck Bay, Manhasset Bay, you know, that type of area that it might be starting schoolies real soon. I'm going to start with some bloodworms, but I'm just glad that it's picking up over here. Fish on, fish on, baby. Right, a nice little guy. Look. Hey, no, JC, there's a big boy. Yeah, I mean, you know how big these guys get. I know, but like, they're still pretty big. And look, it's on this thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, fishy wishy. Hey, fishy wishy. On the umbrella. All right, he inhaled this. Okay, he's out of here. And I still got my stuff, all right. They don't stop. This fish don't stop coming. I told you it was right around here, baby. The only thing is I can't find the size. Another pretty guy. Another pretty guy. They keep on going for the pink one. Only one of them are pink. And they keep going for that one. You see? Yeah. Like, like maybe, like I probably got, I probably got seven. I'd say five of them went for the pink one. Yeah, I gotta do that again. <laughs> Clearly there's something going on. There's something happening here. Well, it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there telling me I've got to beware. Guys, I think I found a ledge because I keep going over the same area. It goes from 18 to like 22 feet. And bam, I'm getting them. This time they went for the white one, okay. Uh, you were going for the pink one, I'm sure. And you just missed. All right. Another one bites the dust. All right. <laughs> I gotta, I guess I gotta do it again. All right, everyone, in last week's video, I mentioned to leave a comment with hashtag giveaway at the end of your comment, and you'd be entered to win some gulp. Well, we have a winner. And the winner of the gulp giveaway is... Peter Egbert. In order to claim the giveaway, email me at funkyfishintv at gmail.com with your info so I can ship it out to you. This is our first giveaway of the season, but stay tuned everyone, because there'll be more giveaways coming as the season goes on. Oh. 
Well guys, that was exactly the kind of day I was hoping to have on the Housatanic late winter, bringing out the umbrella jig. This was the winner of the day. Without this umbrella jig, I may have only caught one or two, but because of this guy, I got six, seven, or eight. Just beautiful thing. Uh, really, it was just being patient and trolling at one to one and a half miles an hour, 1.7. Uh, I just had to be patient and troll. You know, I was really just jumping from school to school because each school only had a couple that were interested at all, and there were a whole bunch of other anglers out there, and and they were all used, most of them were using umbrella jigs, and the ones that were even casting, they were catching, you know, but not that often. It was really the trolling that is what they wanted, for whatever reason. <laughs> it was also really cool seeing them go for that pink. Probably 80% of the time, they land up on that pink. All right, guys, season is a coming. I just had to get out here, do a little shortcut to get some stripers, but soon they'll be back on Long Island. Until next time, guys, stay groovy. Thank you.